Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from my Jazz Electric Drawings and today we're going to continue with the Eton DC1 drive. Yeah, DC1 drive, I keep forgetting uh, the name and uh, today we're going to continue with the uh, 2-3 wire control and potentiometer control the drive obviously in remote mode. If you by any chance missed the last video where we commissioned the drive and uh, run drive local mode and looked looked around looked around the drive what it's all about that's going that video is going to be in the description below as well and also all the related manuals and uh, any videos and part numbers and things like that also you'll be able to find them in the description below so without further ado let's get started <music> There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first uh, station is wired in, and I'll quickly show you what that is going to look like. So, uh, without dropping everything. So, we will have, and we did drop it. Uh, so, we have an e stop, we're going to be running forwards, run the reverse, we're going to have a jogs button, and we're also going to have a speed button. And before we get to the actual. Uh, wiring itself we need to a uh, sort of achieve that kind of uh, a control so and to do that that kind of control let me just run you through again with the relationship between p12 and p15 if you are going to be running uh, for using just the the front uh, front terminals and uh, not worry about the front the keypads in here and things like that so just stick to uh, p12 equals zero stick to that one at all times and only worry about the p15 so in the p15 you sort of can choose a macro how you want the drive to be run so uh, whichever uh, whichever station you want to build you you have all sorts of selections how you want to do it i want to run a uh, this guy in here forward activate terminal uh, digital input one Reverse, activate digital input 2, and uh, where are we? In here, in here. and the uh, jog button in here, which is going to be, it's not, it's in, in this manual, it's not called jog button, it's just a fixed speed 1. So you can uh, uh, set that as a jog, and that will be your frequency, and uh, the, the preset frequency in that jog, as a, in that uh, preset uh, parameter, and uh, can well, well, operate as a jog. And then we have a, a AI1 reference, which is the terminals. Uh, five, six, and seven. So pretty much, I chose the the for this station. I have chose to have this kind of uh, the, the 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 five in uh, the parameter fifteen. So the wiring. There we go. So, so here we are with the wiring. So uh, I have again, as usual, I, I use e stop so to remove the power from the from the terminals. So make sure the drive stops and uh, so from there on it goes through and uh, sort of powers all the inputs in here so not, not in the inputs all the all the uh, normally open contacts in here from there this is our start button which goes to digital input uh, the digital well the terminal two let's put it this way and then the reverse button is going to go for terminal three and jog is going to go for terminal four oh keep going that sideways but we need to make for the jog to function, either it requires some form of enable signal or go forwards or go backwards. So I have wired in another contact block in here. In many occasions, many drives will have to have this run signal enable for the jogging to happen. So uh, I am going to be jogging in backwards because that's, that's a little small cable I had. So I put it across. So you can see down here. So when I click uh, the, the close digital input, uh, the terminal four and close terminal uh, three, it will uh, activate uh, that uh, jog and uh, it will uh, use uh, rather than uh, running forwards with the forward frequency it will be reading the frequency from whatever is pre preset in a, in a speed one so uh, as I, in our case that's going to be a jog and that's pretty much how the wiring works let me show how that uh, works in, uh, in uh, reality when we put the cover on and to set, uh, one thing I forgot to say is to set your speed, uh, what jog speed you want, go to parameter 20 and in there you can select what speed you want. At the moment stands at 15, we just roll down as usual for about, I don't know, 5. There we go. Let's get that 5. So that's if you want uh, to uh, change your jog. So here we go, the station is uh, all put together. So, run forwards. And as you can see, it will need uh, the frequency. There we go. 
And if you uh, select the reverse button while the uh, forward is on, it will override it and stop it. So you need to stop it completely and then go in reverse. So it's got it's sort of has a, a locking mechanism in there to so make sure they don't uh, interfere with each other. So that's pretty much reverse and a jog button as I show the. There we go. And that's how it would run the uh, the little jog system. Obviously, it's not classed as a jog uh, in this in this uh, drive. It's classed as a speed one. But that can always as well function as a jog as well. So for the first station uh, to wire control, we finished. So next up, we jump on three quiet three wire control. Now as for the three wire control, let's have a look at the options that we have in here. So uh, for the three wire control, you have a two options. Here we go. Selecting fifteen, yeah, there's fifth parameter fifteen to ten, you can have. A uh, pulse on will stay on, and then uh, which is going to be digital input one and digital uh, input two. Basically, let's talk terminals actually. Terminal two will be your start, and terminal three will be your stop. And also, you can still have that jog button if you wish to uh, uh, still keep the jog button, but you don't have a reverse. I have gone for the 11, which is going to give me a can I still stay here? Yeah. Which will give me a pulse on uh, forward, stop, and pulse on reverse. And obviously we use a stop as well, and obviously we have a one reference. But if you don't care about your uh, your reverse, you can still go for pulse on slow forwards, and also still get your uh, jog uh, going as well. And for that, you're gonna need to activate obviously the the uh, terminal uh, two as well as uh, terminal uh, three at the same time. So that's pretty much the option I went to. So I have selected the fifteen as 11 here we go and that's pretty much all i think i need to change so and uh, let me show you the actual how we got this wiring going and if you see in a little bit on the paper it said as well which is normally closed and which is normally open it's sort of indicated down there so but i have show you in this station in here so uh obviously again coming power coming to the normal course go via stop button from there on, it uh, via emergency stop. Then it goes to the stop button. It goes via the stop button, and uh, uh, the cable two in here will go to back to terminal. As you can see down here, that's terminal three. That will be our. Uh, uh, was on the paper says uh, that terminal three is our stop. And the start button, then, then from there it goes to the two normally closed contacts, which bonds is one for start, uh, forward, start, reverse. Also, the start forward is going to be our digital. Uh, uh, terminal 2 and uh, start uh, in uh, reverse is going to be our terminal uh, 4 so that's pretty much how that is set up and that pretty much as well indicates and also we have our which I forgot to say in the last previous clip as well is our potentiometer which is uh, a 6, a 7 and 8 all those three just wire them in there and uh, you should be good to go so um, uh, regarding uh, running it, so all I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cover on and we shall test that out how that runs in the real life. Right, the cover is on and I forgot to say, ladies and gentlemen, do remember we're still in R and parameter uh, 12 is equal to zero. As we already discussed, we always stick into the, to the zero for the time being. So this is what the station is going to be looking like on the, on the, on the normal conditions. So uh, when you click the start, as you can see, the drive goes in start mode and with the potentiometer in here, uh, it will run and if you click a uh, reverse it will go in reverse kind of having fun in here <laughs> so pretty much as well you can start at the drive in reverse pretty much it's 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 the latched system and then then uh, if you are in a in a run mode and then you click that one it will stop the drive because it removes the power from all the terminals and then you release it and then you can start up again so that's pretty much how this uh, station would work for three wire control and the option or other option is as well is there if you wish to have the jog uh, run a button and that ladies and gentlemen will conclude uh, this video when it comes down to a uh, two wire and three wire control uh, as you've seen this with the beginning of the video we 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 you haven't done any of the commissioning things like i do no, do make sure you check out the previous video how that's done and where we talk a bit more about parameters itself so uh ladies and gentlemen if you like that video please smash that like if you didn't smash the dislike comment below as usual I always say uh, any comments, any questions, anything you would like to ask or, or discuss, 
uh, or criticize or whatever you want to say just definitely comment in comments uh, below and remember all the manuals and uh, anything related videos are in the description below as well so if you need any help so other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video